Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about example 7.12 from the chapter 7 systems of particles and rotational motion of class 11 physics. The question is, what is the moment of inertia of a ring about a tangent to the circle of the ring? So here, consider a ring of radius capital R. Let this point C be the center of the circular ring. We want to find out the moment of inertia of the ring about a tangent to the circle of this ring. So, let this be, this orange colored one, let this be that tangent. Okay, now I have considered an axis uh, which is actually along the diameter of the ring and it is parallel to this tangent. We know that the moment of inertia of a circular ring of radius capital letter R and mass capital letter M about an axis along its diameter is actually equal to I equal to MR square divided by 2. This actually we have discussed in our previous video. I will provide the link for that in the description box. So here such an axis is the axis along the diameter. So, the moment of inertia of this ring of radius capital letter R and mass capital letter M along an axis, I mean uh, uh, about an axis along the diameter that is e actually equal to M mass square by 2. So, I am taking that, that is the moment of inertia about this axis, about the axis which is along the diameter. So, I am taking it as I subscript D. This is equal to what? M mass square by 2. And I am taking this as equation number 1. Okay, we want to know about the moment of inertia about this tangent, no? So, that is we want to know about I subscript T. Okay, moment of inertia uh, about this tangent. So, I T. Alright, here we have an axis along the tangent and we have an axis along the diameter. These two axes are parallel, no? So, we can make use of the theorem of parallel axis here. Okay, according to the theorem of parallel axis which we have already discussed in our previous video, I will provide the link for that in the description box. So, according to the theorem of parallel axis, I is a dash is equal to I is a plus M A square. Where I is a dash is the moment of inertia uh, about the is a dash axis or we can consider this as the unknown moment of inertia about an axis. And I is that this can be considered as the non moment of inertia and these two axes are parallel. Okay, M is the total mass of the uh, body and A it is actually the perpendicular distance between the two parallel axes. Alright, so here see here we have the unknown one as this I subscript D. So I is a dash can be replaced by I T equal to. The non one, what is that non moment of inertia that is about the diameter that is we know about ID. Then this plus M into, what is A here? A is the distance between these two parallel axes now which is R here. So plus M R square. Alright, so we can write I T that is the moment of inertia of this ring uh, about the tangent I T is equal to I D. What is I D? M R square by 2. Plus, here we have m r square. So, you can just do the cross multiplication or you can make the denominator the same. So, I am just multiplying the numerator and denominator of the second term with the 2. So, that this becomes i t is equal to m r square by 2 plus 2 into m r square divided by 2. Common denominator, we just want to add the numerators. So, m r square plus 2 m r square that is 3 m r square. Okay, or we can write I T is equal to 3 by 2 M R square. That is the moment of inertia of this ring of radius R about a tangent to the circle of the ring is 3 by 2 M R square. So, in this video, we have discussed about example 7.12 from the chapter 7 systems of particles and rotational motion. I hope you understood this. Thank you.